Miles' departure could stop a pro proposed tax increase from being put to a vote in November. It's a $1.6 billion plan that a district task force says is necessary to build new schools, ease overcrowding, and expand early childhood education. Fox 4's Lori Brown is in the studio tonight after talking to the chair of that task force about selling this tax increase to voters potentially without a superintendent in place. Lori. Steve, the chair of the task force says Miles' departure, departure is a disruption and causes challenges, but he believes voters can clearly see the need by looking at their neighborhood schools. It is going to be our early childhood center, and so it would be built right around in this area. Principals, teachers, parents, and kids are already excited about plans to ease overcrowding and improve failing facilities at their schools. But how to pay for those plans will be up to voters. Is it going to be harder to sell a tax increase if you don't have a face for the district? I think we still do have a face. We have the face of 160,000 children. Dr. Dora Renaud, principal of Nathan Adams Elementary School, sees some of those faces every day. Under the district's current plan, that would involve a billion and a half dollars generated through bonds or a tax ratification election. Portable City at her school would be replaced by a whole new wing. That means nine to ten classrooms, and we're going to be using one of the classrooms as a STEM lab. The money would ease overcrowding at roughly 20% of Dallas ISD schools. W.T. White High School was built for 1,800 students, but right now 2,500 students are crammed in. People at W.T. White call the intersection of these halls Main and Ackert because students get backed up all the way to those doors, and it's so packed it's difficult to even move. Some of the money would also go to expand pre-K. There are 2,700 eligible children who are not enrolled. A child's brain is 85% developed by the time they're five years old. By five years old is the time when most 85% of our children first attend a school. Why don't we go out and reach to them, reach out to them earlier? Reynolds believes Miles' departure should not be an excuse to wait to answer that question. The Board of Trustees is set to decide if it will ask voters to approve bonds or a tax referendum in late August. And Steve, we won't know the amount of that possible tax increase until mid-August. All right, Lori Brown in studio, thanks.